Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Ryan. Uh, this week I'm going to be continuing to work on the paintwork. Um, this still needs more prep, it needs more rubbing back, more cleaning up, and try and get a spray primer and then uh, start on the top coat. Uh, this has been drying off now for a week, so I'm confident it's fully ready for the next layer of uh, paint. Um, to those of you that have subscribed and commented, really do appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. Your help, your guidance is appreciated because I'm learning, I'm learning a lot. Um, to those of you who haven't subscribed, um, please do consider it. Um, or just click the like button, it all really helps me out. Uh, and with that, I'm going to get started. So, this is now three minutes after I just recorded that intro, and good old British weather it's now raining so um yeah great thanks for that so retreated into the garage very quickly now relocated as outside as i can be to keep the dust down but still under the cover of the overhanging garage door Okay, I've been rubbing this back for about another 20 odd minutes and I can now feel that feels like glass and all over there's none of that roughness left so I think I now need to make sure I get rid of all the dust use the tack cloth and then I can go for a grey primer coat so uh, yep, yeah, feels good so far let's see how that continues Batter. Let that dry, rub that back. Okay, so I'm continuing to use these and I'm using the fine, which it says here the fine is the grey for top coat prep. So that's what I'm using. I'm using one of these cut in half. I'm rubbing this down and I have done the right hand side. But I've not done the left. And I don't know if this is being picked up on camera because the light's fading, it's getting late. But that now feels pretty smooth. But that doesn't. So that's actually still very rough. But that's quite smooth now. So I'm going to just carry on, continue, try to get it all to the same level of smoothness. Okay, so I'm running out of light now. In fact, the camera's flattering the situation. But that feels lovely and smooth now all over. Everywhere feels sort of glass-like. So I think that is now ready for top coat. So, a fair number of days and a haircut later. Um, the weather's now right. It's the first day that I've had some time available that has also been um, dry and still. So this is nicely warmed up in warm water. I'm just gonna go for a light first couple of coats. Let's see how we get on. Time for a second coat.
Okay. Now I'm going to go for a heavier coat. Let's see how this goes. New can, the other one was getting low, another coat. Carrying along. There's a lot of imperfections in it still. Like that. I can see myself. In... Still a lot of orange peeling and stuff. So far, so good. Okay, welcome back, it's another day, and I'm gonna try and get the top coat, the, the, the lacquer onto this. So for that, I needed a few items. So I've received a mask, hopefully a proper one. So I'll set that up, get that ready in a minute. Got some tack cloths, so I'll give it a good clean before I spray anything. And then I've got the cowling with the crazing in it, which uh, I need to start sanding back and get that ready, probably take it back and put another top you know, sort of colour coat on it and lacquer it later. So that's today's aim, let's crack on with that then. So I've not used this 2K lacquer before, just checking the instructions, it says pull down and twist to release activator, uh, shake and then use. Now I was looking at this, I was a little confused because I need to pull this down um, and then I noticed there's like a, a key ring thing in the bottom. So I think if I take this, I should. Some, oh, there's a hole there, okay. Can that feed through the hole? Yes. So I guess that, there you go. So now I guess we pull that down. and twist. Keep twisting or just twist once? Does it twist out, remove maybe? Mm. Well that's certainly out and twisted is it? Keep pushing it a bit more, see if it removes. See, it sounds simple, and then you come up with daft questions like that. And it just says pull down and twist to release activator. Well, that's definitely pulled down, it's definitely twisted. Now start shaking it. Okay, so I've done tack cloth, and this is shaken. Let's begin. So, let's go to the top. That on the sides.
So we've got second second coat. This time I'm going to try chasing the line, see if that helps. Okay, so this is the so far. So that's had a couple of coats of lacquer. And that, to me, is looking reasonably good. There's a few bits in it, like here I can see. But I think I can polish those out later. And that's looking reasonably damn shiny to me. Okay, uh, leave that a little while now. I think give that at least one more coat and hopefully that tank then will be ready to be left for 24 hours and then starting to cut back but so far me is a happy bunny cool okay and off camera I've also done the side panels I think they will buff up just fine. So during this week, I had the pleasure of meeting up with another subscriber to my channel. So um, thank you very much, Jason. Very nice to meet you. Um, lives relatively close to me. Uh, so we met up at a bike night during the week and um, he's very kindly donated some rear indicators for the Super Dream. So uh, these are excellent. They're in great condition and They've also been supplied with the necessary rubbers which uh, go on the grab rails to take out the slack. So uh, without further ado, I'll be trying to fit these to the Super Dream. So uh, thanks very much for that. Your support's truly appreciated. That's me out of time for now. I'm going to leave this to harden and then we'll try cutting it and buffing it back. But um, I'm really pleased with that. Please do like and subscribe to this channel if you possibly can. It really does help me out. But for now, that's goodbye from me and goodbye from him. <laughs>